I have the Samsung Galaxy S22 right here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to route the entire series of this smartphone using Majisk. You can see we do not have root access right now. But before we can begin, there are some things that we need to have done ahead of time. For example, we cannot root this phone until we unlock the bootloader first. Now I have done a tutorial already showing you how I unlock the bootloader for this exact phone. So instead of repeating myself here, I'll be linking to that video in the video description below for anyone who needs to be caught up. Now this tutorial will work for the base model of the Galaxy S22 like I have right here as well as the larger Galaxy S22 Plus variant, the massive Galaxy S22 Ultra, and the upcoming Galaxy S22 FE. The main requirement here is that you must have the bootloader unlocked first, and I know that all variants do not support that. This should be something that you are aware of for the unit you currently own. Now we also need to install Majisk on our phone, which can be downloaded via GitHub. We need to have Odin installed on our PC. And then we need to download a copy of the firmware we are currently running on this phone. That needs to be downloaded to the PC so it can be extracted. And again, for anybody who is not familiar with any of this, like maybe you do not know where the GitHub page is for Majisk, or maybe you do not know where to download Odin, I will be including download links and other links for all of these requirements in the video description below. A number of ways, a number of places, programs, and websites that you can download the firmware for your Samsung Galaxy S22 phone. I use the website samfw.com as shown here to download the firmware for the model of the Galaxy S22 that I currently own. I have taken that firmware download and I have extracted the contents of this file which gave me these five files an AP file, a BL file, a CP file, a CSC file, and lastly a home CSC file. Once you have downloaded the firmware and extracted it, you're going to need to take the AP file here and we're going to copy that to our Galaxy S22. Now that we have the AP file copied to our Galaxy S22, we're going to open up the Majisk application. Look for the install button in the top Majisk section and tap it. Then we're going to choose the select and patch a file option. And then we're going to browse and select the AP file that we put on this phone. Once that has been selected, you should see this Let's Go button right here. We're going to go ahead and tap that, and we're going to let Majisk work its magic. Majisk is going to take that AP file, extract the boot image from it, copy some files, patch some files, write these files back into our original compressed file, and then give us a new file right here. So instead of having an AP file, we have replaced it with a Majisk underscore patched TAR file that for me is going to be in the downloads folder. So we need to connect the phone back to the PC so that we can copy this Majisk patched file to our PC. Now before we can actually flash this modified firmware file to the phone, 
We need to boot the Galaxy S22 into download mode. This is another one of those things that I've previously shown you how to do in a separate video. So instead of going through the step-by-step -step instructions of how to do that, I'm just going to link to that previous tutorial so that you can get caught up, get your phone into download mode, and then come back and finish this tutorial. So here I have opened up Odin, and remember I have the Galaxy S22 connected to the PC with that USB cable while it is in download mode. And we should be told that Odin is detecting that phone by having this or one of these boxes filled in with blue and telling us which COM port it is connected. So for me it is connected to COM5 right now. But as long as you're seeing your phone connected here, then we can continue. Now when we look at the buttons here in Odin, you can see the familiar two letters that we saw in the firmware files here. So we have a BL slot, an AP slot, a CP slot, and then a CSC slot. So we're going to click the BL button. We're going to find the BL firmware file and select it. We're then going to select the CP file. Again, find the CP, the firmware file that begins with CP, and select it. We're then going to click the CSC button and then pick the CSC firmware file, not the home CSC firmware file. If this is the first time you are rooting the phone, going from an unrooted state to a rooted state, we need to select the regular CSC file. And then lastly, we're going to click the AP file, but instead of selecting the firmware file that begins with AP, because that is the unmodified firmware file, we want to load in the modified firmware file, which is the magisk underscore patched file. So that's all we're doing to Odin. I'm not changing anything in the options tab. We are just loading these firmware files as instructed. And since we have everything set up, we are now just going to click the start button right here. And we can see two different progress bars. We have a progress bar on the phone itself at the bottom of the download mode screen. And we have the progress bar up here in Odin, which we can follow along with. Now it is important to leave the phone alone. Do not unplug the phone. Make sure that it maintains a secure USB connection. And again, we can follow along with the log file right here. We can see all of the files that are being written to the phone. Some of these files are really large, like this super.img file. So we are just going to wait patiently. We're going to let Odin flash all of these files to our Galaxy S22. And remember, we have the auto reboot option automatically selected. So when everything is done, we're going to get a green pass message up here. And our Galaxy S22 is going to reboot on its own. So we can see this progress bar is getting close to the end. The same progress bar, again, is being displayed on the phone. So we are really close to this finishing up. Okay. 
And as mentioned, the Galaxy S22 has restarted on its own. The phone has completed its boot cycle. So we are just going to skim through the activation. so that we can get to the home screen here. So we have finished the activation part of Android and we need to go into the application drawer. You should see a stub of Majisk, which is gonna look like Majisk, but it's not going to have that icon. If you do not see this, then go ahead and download Majisk from the GitHub web page again and install it. But again, if you've done everything correctly, you should see this stub right here, which we can tap on. And then we need to connect to the internet so that we can upgrade to full Majisk. So with the phone booted back up and an internet connection maintained, we can come back, check for that app stub open it and we're going to be asked if we want to upgrade to the full Majisk. Of course we want to tap on OK. We will need to allow that first and then we'll get that update prompt. So now we have the actual full Majisk app installed. We can open it up. Again, we see it requires additional setup. So we're gonna tap on okay. And it's going to reboot our phone with that additional setup done. We can now open the full Majisk application. We can see right here that it does say Majisk version 24.3 is currently installed. So that means we do have root access and we can test this. You can test this in a number of different ways, but for this video, I can download this root checker app. And once the application has been installed, we can go ahead and open it up and perform our first root check. So that wraps up this video showing you how to gain root access to the Galaxy S22, the Galaxy S22 Plus, and the Galaxy S22 Ultra using Majisk. We just have to make sure that we can unlock the bootloader first.